actually have a training day scheduled and we're going to be going over the Draeger ventilators and that's what we use in our ICU and I believe we're also going to go over some like transport vents as well. So I'm just getting my coffee and hopefully I can get some videos. It's raining pretty heavily right now. Hopefully the sound is relaxing. Hopefully it's not too bad. <laughs> Before we begin the video, I just wanna say, oh my God, we're almost at 8,000 subscribers. That is my goal for this video. I hope we can hit 1,000 subscribers. And I'm just so appreciative of you guys. This is amazing. I could have never possibly thought um, the channel would have grown this fast. Um, let's jump into it. Something that's highly requested, study tips. I did write down some things in my notebook here. I'm gonna do a section where we're gonna do in the classroom, at home, and then test taking. Tip number one, study the way you like best. I like to study on the laptop and take notes that way because I feel like it helps me stay organized. But if you like studying on paper, get a nice binder, get your file tabs and stay organized. That's gonna help you so much when you're studying. This also goes hand in hand with physical books or online textbooks. I tried online textbooks. That's what I used for my entire respiratory program but half the students in my class also use physical books as well. That's just something you want to take in mind when you're going to study. The good thing about online textbooks is that you can most of the time search keywords and it will search through the entire textbook and flag pages and you can bookmark things, you can highlight things, you can make notes within the textbook as well. My next study tip is gonna be write down questions on a separate sheet of paper as you're going through the lecture then when it comes time to ask you have them all right there for you color coordinate all of your stuff it might sound silly but color coordinating is going to help you separate different topics it might help you memorize certain things i like to color coordinate even in my job now when i'm making my patient list at the beginning of the day i color coordinate all my treatments um, helps me stay organized. Keyword of the video, staying organized. One of my biggest tips I would always tell my classmates when I was in respiratory school is if the teacher is going to repeat a topic, they are subconsciously giving you a hint. Maybe they're purposely giving you a hint. I don't know. But if they're repeating things, write it down, underline it, highlight it. Another thing for tip in the classroom that I always used to do is highlight the most important things and stay with that color or if they say hey this is gonna be on the test underline 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 moving on to our home section of studying I previously mentioned this in a Q&A video I was using the Pomodoro method my timetable that I like to use a 20 minute straight studying session followed by a 10 minute break when the timer goes off, have your next one ready for the 10 minute break and you can do whatever you want in that 10 minutes. But as soon as the timer goes off, go back to your desk and study for another 20 minutes. I would set a goal before my study session to study for one hour, two hours, three hours, and just keep doing those intervals until my goal was reached. Number two for studying at home is to create a Quizlet account. Quizlet helped me so much. You can create your own flashcards on there. 
Another really great thing about Quizlet is you can search other people's Quizlets as well. For example, if you do a Google search and say you search, what is a safe suctioning pressure respiratory Quizlet search? Many people, including myself, have made Quizlets. You can also do this once it's time to take your TMC or your CSC. The only thing you want to make sure of when you're on Quizlet is somebody is making these. A student is making these flashcards and they could be wrong. So just be careful of that. Hopefully they're right because they're getting the information from the book. Another thing you wanna do when you're studying at home is to focus on all of the topics that you don't quite understand. We naturally tend to focus on the questions or the topics that we know and we'll go over it multiple, multiple times. If you know it, it's time to move on. And if you're not sure about something and you find yourself skipping over it because you don't quite get it, those are the things you need to focus on. Because when it comes time to take your exams, those questions are gonna be asked. Don't act like they're just gonna go away because they're not. They are gonna be there. And you wanna make sure you're covering the things you don't know. You don't wanna be covering the things that you do know. I would highlight topics in red that I didn't quite understand. That way when I was going through them at home, I knew like, hey, I don't understand this topic that well. Maybe I need to focus on it. The thing about doing your notes on your laptop is you can unhighlight it, which is another pro tip. This goes into my other tip of emailing your instructors. Do not be afraid to email your instructors. They're there for you at the end of the day you're paying them for this information so take advantage of that when you're at home studying and you don't understand something type them a quick message just put hey i'm having trouble with a topic i need more information about this in my experience when you email them they'll give you a quick rundown of the topic and if you're still needing more help they will set up office hours with you or they'll be like hey i'm going to stay extra after class tomorrow just hang around and like, let's work through this together. Please take advantage of that. I think teachers like that anyways, I'm not sure. Moving on, big tip. You want to read your book. Read your Egan's book, do it. Like you need to make time, put aside time to read your textbooks. And that doesn't mean you have to read like the entire thing. It has great information in there, do it. It'll help you. My last tip for studying at home, make an everything page. There's probably an actual name for it. Basically, at the end of my studying, I would get a blank page of printer paper, color coordinate with all my different colored pens. I would write the main things about that topic. This way, if I ever had to refer to it really quick, I wasn't shifting through a bunch of different notes trying to find where I wrote this topic down. These are really great. I did a bunch of these too when I was studying for my board exams at the end of the respiratory program. It's a lot of talking. My next set of tips is gonna be for test taking. I like to take my test the same way every single time, very specific method. Biggest thing, take your time. Don't look at what everybody else is doing. If that one student in the class gets up to be the first one to turn in their test, woo, yay for them. They probably bombed it. They probably passed it, but they could have bombed it too. So don't compare yourself to people. This is gonna be really big when you go to take your board exams at the end of the year. You need to take the full time on the TMC and the CSE. So you might as well practice it while you're in the respiratory program. To begin your test, go through it at a normal pace. You're answering, you know, question one, A, question two, B. Question three, you come across it and you don't quite know what it is. If you have to think about it for more than two minutes, skip it, I don't care. Skip it, don't even think about it anymore. It's not worth your time, bye, she's gone. And keep going through it like that. So I go through the test like this, the first time. The second time, I'm going to go back to those questions that I skipped, the harder ones, and then I'm going to take my time answering them. Again, if it's taking you a, an extremely long time, 
to answer a question, skip it again. But the second round is where you're gonna wanna focus most of your like thinking time. That's the second round. The third round, you should have answered almost all of the questions by now. And you're gonna go through each individual question. Make sure you read it again, every question, and you selected the exact answer that you wanted to. I know there are times when we are taking a test, we circle the wrong thing, even though we meant to circle something else. The world is not fair. But this third round is your time to go through and look through every single question that you need to. If there's something you kept skipping over and over again, use the rest of the test to think it out. And if you really don't know it, you gotta guess. Cross out, physically cross out the ones you know are not right and try to give yourself the best opportunity to make an educated guess. Go through the test three times. First time, speed round. Second time, thinking round. Third time, proof checking. My next tips are gonna be for simulation labs. First thing is to stay after class if you are able to there's no limit of time you have to stay after even if it's 10 minutes stay 10 minutes take your time another thing i did for sim lab was bought the flashcards slash note cards that come on a spiral ring whenever i learned a new simulation like setting up a small volume neb i would write down step by step how to do it and then on the other column i would put indications contraindications because when you're going to be doing your sim labs your instructors are also going to ask you questions about what you're doing what's safe what's not safe and very important things to do important things star always star 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 underline bold and highlight your stuff why not make it stand out to wrap things up i have one more very very important tip, do not ever ignore memorizing your equations, PFT stuff, and farm. Never put farm on the back burner. At the end of your program, you don't want to be studying like whatever, 15 different equations and trying to memorize them when you're already studying for every single thing that you learned. As soon as you're finding out these equations, you need to have your own equation, paper, or quizlet. Have a PFT paper with all of your important values. Once a week, just try to go through and look at it and keep yourself fresh. Those are not things you want to forget about. All of those are gonna show up on your TMC and CSC multiple times. Really hope some of you were able to at least take one or two good things away from this video. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you.